Hi all, welcome on Travels and Code channel. Today I will show you how to install Jenkins CI on Google Cloud Platform. So here is Google Cloud Platform and here is Jenkins. Jenkins is a CI CD tool, very popular. And uh, so let's start. First of all, let's create a server. So we need the instance. We will create the smallest in instance on Google Cloud Platform to test uh, our Jenkins CI. Let's call it Jenkins. Uh, let's type will be F1 micro, the smallest one. Also, don't forget allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Let's allow both and click create. So let's go to our Jenkins documentation. Let's find Jenkins, and uh, in handbook we see there is installing Jenkins. We can read uh, how can we install it for Debian and Ubuntu. So our GCP virtual machine instance is created. Let's connect to SSH. Okay, so we are connected. First of all, let's update our instance. So we updated the next one. What is important, we need to install a GDK. It's a Java, Java 8, because Jenkins is using like a Java, Java uh, to be run. And uh, let's install it. So Java is installed, we skipped some installation parts, it was useless. So let's continue. We open our Linux Debian Ubuntu installation and let's copy commands and uh, run one by one. Result is okay, it's what we needed. The next one. Again, we will update our system. And then we will try to run Jenkins install. So we have such error, package has not installed installation candidate. Okay, let's Google it. Let's open this link. Uh, so here we see that Jenkins was removed from official Ubuntu repositories. So let's open this link and try to run these comments again. What is here? So let's copy that, copy these commas and run again. Okay. Let's run again. Again, update. Now it seems everything is done successfully. And uh, let's install Jenkins. Yes. And we see the Jank is, is in the process of installation. So I hope everything works fine. Okay, it's installed. So let's open our IP address with the 80, 80 port. But right now it doesn't work. Why? Because uh, here in our network configuration, we do not open such port. So let's go to our network default and check firewall rules firewall rules and uh, here we see that for tcp for ip rangers 0 zero is external access we don't have this port let's add it add the firewall rule let's add jenkins okay so Tags, we don't have tags. Let's uh, set uh, all instances in the network because I didn't add a tags for tags for this instance. IP ranges, let's add it 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and it will be TCP 8080. Let's create it, and after a while, it will be firewalls or firewall rules will be updated, and we can use it successfully let's wait for a while okay we see our 8080 port and let's try it again okay it doesn't work maybe because it's https let's remove it and try here everything works jenkins is using http port protocol 
But anyway, and here we have a getting started page with unlocking Jenkins. So we need to find the admin password. Let's go to this URL and um, check password. It's on our server. Clear. Let's go to Jenkins and check what do we do here. We have uh, secrets. Let's go. Secrets. Permission denied. Okay, let's do sudo su and do the same and uh, here what do we need we need initial admin password initial admin password yes it's nano and uh, here we see this password let's copy that paste continue Okay, and here we have two options, customize Jenkins, in install suggested plugins or, or install plugins, or we can select plugins to install. Let's just use suggested plugins and anyway, then we can add anything or remove. And here we can wait a few minutes when everything will be installed and then we will check how it works. Here we can see that uh, we are installing end uh, plugin, uh, git. Uh, of course, we need Git for using with the different version control systems, especially for Git. SSH slaves, I guess for SSH connections, we need subversion. We do not need anymore. Nobody uses it. At least I don't use it. Uh, sub GitHub branch sources. It's fine. Gradle, I'm not sure. And a few pipelines. It's okay. For mailer, we have a mail ex extension mailer and it's fine. Okay, so everything is installed. Let's create first admin user. We can continue as admin with previous password, but um, I would recommend you to create another user. Okay, we create it and uh, save and continue. Let's click it. Here we have Jenkins URL, save and finish and start using Jenkins. So as you see Jenkins is installed and that's it. Jenkins is installed and uh, thank you for watching.